a big German car company like Mercedes or Audi or BMW came up with a brand new all-electric saloon that is as good as this Tesla, we would all be jumping up and down in amazement at the achievement. But in fact, Tesla, as a car company, back in 2010, didn't even exist. Now, the moment anybody mentions anything about electric cars, everybody starts getting terribly excited about range or range anxiety, the lack of range, in fact. But Tesla claims that if you get this 85 model, it will travel 330 miles on a single tank. Now, obviously, you have to treat those sorts of claims with a little bit of caution if you drive around the place using all the performance or with the lights on or with the windscreen wipers or going up and down mountains. And obviously, it's not going to do that sort of distance. Nevertheless, if you drive reasonably cautiously in reasonably normal conditions, this car will clearly and obviously do at least 250 miles before you have to charge it up, which I would say is probably just about good enough. The other thing that always surprises people about Teslas when they first travel in one is just how fast they are. It's a large four-door, reasonably sedate-looking kind of saloon. But the truth is, even the least powerful version of the 70 will do 0 to 62 miles an hour in 5.2 seconds. This is the 85D, and you can knock that figure back to 4.2 seconds for this. And if you go for the absolute range-topping P85D with the optional, and I'm not joking, ludicrous upgrade, it will do 0 to 62 miles an hour in 2.8 seconds. Now that makes it as quick as any hypercar out there, and it's a comfortable, quiet, relaxed four-door saloon. It really is quite extraordinary. So in addition to all that performance and the obvious tax breaks that you get for having a purely electric car, you also get this interior, which is very, very funky, very modern. You get this massive central display, which isn't to everybody's taste, um, but certainly if you want your information right in front of you and very clearly and obvious to see, uh, it does that very well indeed. Of course, the Tesla is not a perfect car. It would be remarkable indeed if a car from a company of this new were. I would say that the ride quality is probably not quite as good as you would hope it would be for a car of this size and this price, and there's not quite enough room in the back. But other than that, there really is precious little to criticize about this car. The Tesla is not only a really good car in theory, it's a car that works really well in practice too.